I am pretty sure you have all heard of the Insta360 link. It has been covered by so many tech YouTubers. For all you that haven't seen it, this little fella packs a huge punch in the webcam front. Coming in with a resolution of up to 4K and supercharged by AI. The Insta360 link is connected to a gimbal that you can control and move the camera into any position you like. There is no need for a camera operator with this bad boy too, as it uses AI to track a subject. All of this and so much more is packed into such a tiny form factor. This camera is perfect for any streamer, but I'm not here today to talk about specs and all that jazz. I'm here to show you what this bad boy can really do software wise to help take your stream to the next level. So without further ado, I'm Andy. Crack that like button if you enjoy the video and subscribe to help me keep making this content. But you're rocking for the stone. Just a quick disclaimer before we get into the video, Insta360 did not sponsor this video, but they did send me the camera out. And if you do fancy grabbing one for yourself, you can use my affiliate link below to help support the channel. The Insta360 Link Controller is such a cool piece of software, giving you control over every single aspect this camera has and configuring just how you like it. You can manually control the gimbal, adjust all the image settings, gesture and tracking settings, and even create up to six different preset positions for the camera. Most of this is great, but you can't really control the gimbal easily whilst you're live streaming. This is where hotkeys come in. You can turn global wake up on, so you can control the hotkeys even when you are not active in the Insta360 Link Controller app. You can turn tracking on and change into different camera modes, change to preset positions, and even move the gimbal around and zoom in and out, which is super cool. Now you can add all of this together and slap it on something like a Stream Deck to make it even easier to control. Crank into the Stream Deck software and just add a hotkey, which is under the system category. Copy the hotkey from Insta360 Link Controller. In this case, I will use the tracking hotkey, which is Alt plus T. Then most importantly, make it pretty. You know, add an icon and boom. After adding all the hotkeys, you have an easy to use camera controller, lush. For those of you who are not new to the channel, you definitely should know about Move Transition plugin for OBS. If you are new, get subscribed because you are missing out on valuable streaming tips. I have so many videos on the channel about the Move Transition plugin and how to install it, so I'm going to get right into the meat of this. We can add a filter onto our camera, then under effects, select Move Video Capture Device. We can adjust so many settings in here. Selecting single setting means that we can only adjust one setting, but look how many we have to choose from. If we select the move value type settings, we can select as many settings as we want at once. I will select pan, tile and zoom, then scroll down to press get value. This will retrieve the current camera location. Then I can use the Insta360 link controller to move the camera to the next position. Pressing this little button at the top will minimize it into a handy to use dock, which is super nice. Once happy, I will then right click the filter I made in OBS and press duplicate. On this new filter, I will press the get value once again. Now, when I toggle the first filter, the camera will go to the first position and the second filter to the second position. This means we can add as many different positions as we want. We are not just limited to the six, like in the Link Controller app. A cool thing about the Move Video Capture Device filter is that we can adjust how long the movement takes and also how it is eased in and out. So this gives us so much more flexibility than the Link Controller app. There is just so much customization that can be done to get the desired effect that you are looking for. Who <laughs> needs a camera operator? Speaking of camera operators, we can also control the camera like we did in the link controller software by using the add function. Just create a new move video capture device filter, select the move value type, add, then select camera control pan. Select the value to move the camera to the right. This has to be a positive number. I will just choose 10 for now. Then just duplicate this filter and call it left. Then change the value to the same 
default negative. Then duplicate this again and call it down, but this time change the settings to camera control till. Leave the value the same and then duplicate the filter once again and call this up. Change the value to the same number, but positive this time. And boom, you can control your camera through OBS. We can do the same for zoom by duplicating once more and changing the setting to camera control zoom. I think you're starting to get the picture. Yeah, it's pretty cool. For the final setting, you can get a little bit silly. We can actually set the move value type to random. Select the setting we wish to randomize, choose the minimum and maximum values. And now when we use this filter, it will zoom to a random amount. And this can also be done across all of the camera settings too. With all of these new possibilities, you can bring them into your stream effects and redeems. Or even if you're doing a sofa gaming session with friends, you could have the camera move to different people and let Twitch chat control it. To get these features working with Twitch chat, we just need to use your favorite streaming bot software. I will use StreamerBot for this example. You can create an action and give it a relevant name to the filter or movement that you are triggering. Then just add the set source filter state sub action and select this source and filter. Then you can choose how you want this to be triggered, whether it's a chat command or channel point or just pretty much anything. Then when your stream activates that command, off you go. There is nothing cooler than an interactive stream. Some cool things that I like to play around with is the focus, as you can get a really cool blur effect. You will have to turn off autofocus though, but it could make a cool transition or be right back scene. I would love to see what you all come up with, so please let me know in the comments below. If this video helped you, crack that like button to help me and subscribe so you never miss anything. If you want to learn more about move transition, click up here and I'll see you over there. I've been Andy, but you're Ogre for the Stone.